Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Coding Demos. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use a third-party library that will allow you to add buttons with fancy kind of animation. So this is the library that we're going to use in this tutorial. And by the end of this tutorial, you will have an app that looks something like this. So you can see here, I've added the, an edit text on the top there and we have these four uh, buttons. So when you click on the, the smiley face, then you can see this uh, pop-up kind of animation and you have, you have the same thing for the, the thumbs up and you have for the heart and you have for the star as well. So let's go to Android Studio and let's uh, add this library. So the first thing that we need to do is if you scroll all the way to the bottom, because it's a third party library, then we need to add the, uh, the, the dependency. So here inside the Gradle section here, so uh, under the dependencies, I'm just going to copy this line and then go to the Android Studio and then go to the build.gradle module app and I'm going to just paste that line inside the dependencies here. So paste that here and then another thing is you need to, you can see that the moment I pasted this line then you got the, the compile is deprecated so you need to replace the compile with implementation so we do implementation follow exactly the, with the rest of the libraries. So implementation, that's one thing. Another thing is if you go back to the library, then under the build script here, under repositories, we need to add the Maven central. So just copy that and then go back to your project and open up the builder gradle project and inside this repository here, I'm just going to paste that line. Okay, so we've added these two. Let's click on the sync now and let's wait for the build to uh, finish. So sync now. All right, so sync is complete. Okay, so let me just close this and this. All right, so let's go back to the library. So we've added this. Next is we need to add the, we need to use the, the library itself. So here in the usage, now you have you have two parts. You have the, the Java side and you have the, the XML side here. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through the XML because the XML is like, it's basically the same thing as the, the Java part. I mean, like you can first you initialize the button, first you need to add the button inside the XML file and then you reference that based on its ID and then you initiate that inside the activity. You can also do it in the XML, so we'll go. We'll do with the XML for now. So to to do that, let's just copy this. Don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through the uh, what is all what all this is about actually. So go back to your project. So I've copied this. Go back to your project and go to the activity underscore main. Okay, so here I have a an edit text which acts as a, a comment. So for example, you can, use the, you can use this library. Let's say you're building a social media app and you want your user to interact with the post, then you'll be able to use these, uh, these buttons to allow the user to interact with it. So for this tutorial, I've just added the edit text that act as a comment section, that accept a comment. And then so below this edit text, that's where I'm going to add the the button, the shine button. So I'm going to paste that here. All right, so the first thing that I need to remove is layout center in parent because why? Because here we're using linear layout. So linear layout doesn't have this, uh, uh, doesn't support the uh, center in parent because this one goes under the relative layout. So we'll just remove this. Okay, so we have the, the button here. Now, let me walk you through the, the code. So let me just remove this. We don't need that. All right, so we have the layer width and height. I'm sure you guys know what, it, what are these. The, this is the measurement of how we want the size of the button to be. And then we have here is the ID, definitely the ID of the button. And then we have here is the, the things that are related to the library. 
So the first one is the button color that basically uh, relates to the actual color of the button. So you can see here, if I click on this color, it is darker gray, which refers to the, the color that you see right now. It's dark gray. And then we have the button, the app button fill color. So this is the color that will that will show up when you tap on the on the button. So if we go back to the emulator, and the first one is by default it's going to be gray, darker gray. But when you tap on the on the button, then it will be green. So this green actually comes from here, the button fill color, and you pass in the the green color. So the button color is the actual color of the button that appears in uh, when the user launched the screen. And for the fill color is the actual color that will be shown up when you actually tap tap on the button. So another thing is we have the random color. So random color is for now if we go back to the emulator then we will already see a single color. So it's like a it's a mix of both. So whatever you see here, they mix it together and then they show it with a fancy kind of animation. If we, by default, we allow the random color to be false, but later on I'll show you what that means when you turn it on and what are the type of animation that we'll be able to see. And then another thing is we have the app and then SI shape. So this basically refers to the uh, the icon that you will use for this button. So here it refers to the smile. So the row here is actually referring to the, the actual library. So I, I'm guessing that these icons are all pre-populated uh, pre inside the library. So I'm not sure whether we can use our custom kind of icons. So for now, we'll, we'll go with the, the ones that the library provided for us which is the four icons so we'll go with the smile all right so let's say when you want to run the app so if you click on run i have my emulator running so when you run the app then we want to see like the the smile button so let's just wait for this to build all right so build is complete let's open up the emulator so here we have the the first icon which is the smiley face so when you tap on that then you have the uh, the the animation showed up with a mixture of two colors. So another thing that I want to highlight to you is the, the random color. So the random color is, if by default it's turned to false, but if you put it as true, then you will have different types of colors because by default it will only use these two colors, the, the actual color button and the, uh, and the color of the, of the buttons once it's being tapped on. And in the random one, the random color shows you different types of colors. So let's just run that and show you guys in the emulator. All right, so let's go back to the emulator. So we have here the icon, so you tap. So you've seen that now there are different types of colors. Initially, it was gray, dark gray, and green. But now if you tap, you can see like red, you see yellow, you see like uh, multiple types of colors. So that's what the allow random color actually do. All right, so let me just copy this line. Sorry, copy this part here. I'm gonna paste that a few times. And I'm gonna show you uh, the how they all appear with different types of icons because initially it was just with a smiley face, but then we'll do it with the the like, and we're gonna do it with the uh, with the star. We're gonna do it with the heart. So first, we'll start with a smile, and we have our first error right here, which is the ID is being duplicated, so we'll just change that for each one of them. So button, so this is smile, so we're just going to call it smile button, button smile. That'll be a lot easier to differentiate. Then we have smile, okay, so the second one would be uh, button, let's say like, and then let's change this. So in the SI shape, so instead of smile, just put like. Another thing, another thing is for the ID here, the third will be button. So we have the smile, we have the like, then we have the heart. So I just put it here, heart. 
And finally, we have the uh, the star button star and change the icon as well to a star. All right, so we have four icons as you can see here. Okay, another thing is I need to put some margin to give some space between each other. So it's margin top and I'm going to give it 10 dp. I'm going to copy this and paste that inside each of the other buttons. All right, so now it looks much better. Okay, we'll start with changing the colors. So the first one is the shine button. Sorry, the first one is the smile button. And if we go back to the the actual library. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to follow exactly the colors that was being that were you that were be that were being used in the library. So for the smiley face, we have the green. So the green is done here. We have the green. It's working fine. Now we'll go to the like. So the if you go back to the library, the like is in red color. Okay. So wait for it. Tap. Okay, it's all red red. So if it's all red red, then the the button color by default is going to be gray dark gray and then for the uh, the fill color so just click on the the icon color from the left here and then choose hollow red uh, dark okay that's for the like and if we go back to the the heart would be blue okay so for the heart would be blue so it's dark Hollow blue dark okay that's good and then finally for the star would be come on come on come on come on star would be okay orange so for the star the fill color will choose orange dark okay so let's run all right so bill is complete and we have the icons here Okay, so click on the first one. We have the green color, we have the red, we have the blue, and we have the orange. So the other types of colors are all shown up because of the, we are allowing the random color to show up since we're setting this as true. You can see this as false if you want only two colors, which are the, uh, the button color, the gray mixture with the green. All right, so these are the buttons, and uh, let me just put them in the center of the screen. So we'll use Android Layout Gravity, that will be center. And I'm going to just copy this, just paste it in every section. So we have it for the star, we have it for the, we have it for the star, and this would be the heart, and finally we have the star. Okay. All right, now we have them all aligned in the center. Now, if you go back to the library, I'm gonna show you a few things that you can actually do with the, uh, in terms of customization. Okay, if we scroll down, so we have this list of things that you can do. All right, I'm gonna just walk you through a few things and then you can explore the rest. So we've did the, the, the shape, that's the shape of the, the icon of the button. And then the button color, yeah, we did that. Random, yes, to show different types of colors. And another thing that I want to show you is the, okay, enable flashing. So what does that mean? So let me just copy this. So it says that here, enable flashing, enable effect like flash. So flash something like the, like fireworks. Okay, let me show you that in the app. So go back to the button. We're going to test with the button smile. So inside here, I'm going to do app, enable flashing, equals to true. Because if you go back to the library, this enable, enable flashing except boolean. So I'll just pass this as true. Let's, let's run the app. All right, build is complete. And we have them all aligned in the center. So we'll start with the smile face. So you see that when you tap, then you get a different types of colors because of the random here. But towards the end, the animation looks like some sort of fireworks. 
Okay, let's first do it with the smiley face. So you see that, right? Like flash, flash, flashy kind of fireworks. If you compare it to the other icons, the other animation. So if we tap on this on the thumbs up, it's normal, right? But if you tap on the smiley face, so you see like those uh, flashy, flashy lights, or you can say flashy, flashy animations. So that's what the enable flash actually does. Another thing, if we go back to the library, and then we have the shine count. So the shine count is, uh, you give it an integer value, except an integer value. So you give it an integer value, and this basically represents the 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 number of the number of uh, animation. Or you can see the number of uh, those small dots that appear surrounding the icon. Okay, let me just show you that in an example. So I'm going to copy this shine count and I'm going to go to the Android Studio again. I'm going to add that inside the, the smile button. So it's app, then it's, uh, shine count. So we will start with, let's say 20. So it's an integer value, we'll start with 20 and let's build the app. All right, build is complete. Okay, first we'll start with a smiley face. So you see the difference, right? Because of the shine count. So it's like, it tells you like how many times you want to repeat the, those flash animations or the, the, the dots that appear in the animation. So if we tap, tap on it again, so tap. So you see how, like there are like uh, so many different types of uh, color dots that appear surround the actual icon so if you compare that to the thumbs up you see like I think around two dots or three dots but this one's like 20 dots so 20 times I guess if we tap on it again yeah so that's basically what the shine count actually means and they have so many things that you can actually do so these are this this column actually represent the uh, the things that you can represent the things that you can add inside the inside the XML while well, this one is the Java methods and then these are basically a description of what each one of them does all right so this is basically for this tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial again thank you so much for watching and happy coding